Recovery Act, constantly helping the, the evacuees that are here. You understand? We gotta all do our part because all it takes is one of you to do your one little part. And then we unify. And then it's a large part. And then there's a change. And then there's a difference. They're even considering actually canceling this debt because of our presence. So please, don't let, don't let 40 or 50 or whoever much we draw, don't let that discourage you. The next court date, I want to see everybody back here. I want to see everybody back here because you're right. You make them scared. I believe that Puerto Rico has contributed a lot to this country uh -huh. and they deserve nothing less but to have representation, voting uh -huh. rights in this country, to be able to vote for their president uh -huh. and to have equitable uh -huh. uh, rights in Congress and in the Senate. Mm -hmm. Is that the name of your group, Cancel the Debt? I'm right? Miguel David with uh, Cancel the Debt for Puerto Rico. Uh, right now we've uh, gotten together with different organizations from uh, San Juan to Florida to Nevada, Connecticut, Pennsylvania. Uh, all united in one single voice to cancel the debt of Puerto Rico. Uh, different organizations and unions from 1199 to Vamos for Puerto Rico and the Aspera Resistencia have united. Um, in today's hearing, they were discussing the uh, cancellation of $6 billion of Puerto Rico's debt. I'm going to be returning to the trial to see how it continues. Anytime you breathe down the neck of any Boricua, we will resist. You will meet resistance. We here to spread Boricua unity, Boricua power and love. We have so many groups out here to show, cancel the debt. They're hurting our people. Our people are dying. You got hospitals closing. You got schools closing. But guess what? Out here in New York City, we are showing unity. We're showing solidarity with our, with our gente and our relatives out there in Puerto Rico. Some of us never even met or never even been to Puerto Rico, but we still putting it down and representing for My name is Jason Cruz. I'm a representative of Vision, Integrity, Purpose, but many know us as VIP. Um, we're out here today because we're demanding an audit of the $6 billion of debt, a debt that was illegally acquired and that Wall Street banks are trying to capitalize on, which is actually, you know, draining the economy of Puerto Rico. You know, a lot of schools are being closed. Yo, what's up, que esta pasando mi gente? This is Power Malu, and right now we're in front of 500 Pearl Street. We were up inside the courtroom listening in to Judge Taylor Swain as she lets these uh, bondholders state their claim. Um, a lot of them are basically talking about how much money is due to them and when they want to get paid. And no one is talking about the people of Puerto Rico who are actually the ones that are going to have to repay this debt, which they shouldn't have to be responsible to pay this debt because it's an illegal debt. It's a debt that has been accrued by the government of Puerto Rico. And after time and time again, people have been asking for this debt to be audited. It's not, hasn't been audited, but they are now saying that $6 billion of that debt is illegal and it's up on the table now and they basically are making their arguments and the judge is gonna decide if those $6 billion are illegal. Basically, if $6 billion are illegal, then the whole debt is illegal. I mean, you can't just say like one portion is illegal and then the rest is okay. What's happening is that the government just kept asking and asking for more money and they were giving it to them. These banks were underwriting this, knowing that they weren't gonna be able to pay this back. So essentially, everyone should be in trouble and everyone should be held responsible for this. So that is what we're here for. We're trying to like bring awareness to this because not a lot of people know about what's going on. Some people may have heard about it. They're not really familiar with it, but a lot of the things that are happening on the island are due to this debt crisis that has been caused by this irresponsibility of the government of Puerto Rico and these bondholders and banks that are all in cahoots to me that they're just basically trying to take over the island.